biggest things I've been struggling with recently is consistency. So I know for me on this road I'm traveling to become an influencer, I know that there are certain things that you have to get done. There are certain things that you have to do and set aside and make them top priority. But a lot of times there are things that you don't really love and you don't really like to do but you have to do. Now I know for me, one of the things I love doing is waking up early. To me, I feel like when you're getting up before everybody else, it gives me that satisfaction. It puts me in a mode of hustling, of getting things done before everybody else. Now, one of those activities that I love to do in the morning is working out. I would say I've gotten this from the military, but I've actively been interested in weightlifting and weight training for a long time now. Currently around, uh, <clears throat> it's currently around 4.45. About to head out to go to the gym now. One of the issues that a lot of people have with weight training is they feel like because they went to the gym that they actually did something. And I know even I'm guilty of this too. A lot of times when traveling, when I feel like I start going to the gym and then I stop going because I'm not in my area anymore, it's really hard to get back on it and actually put in real work. I feel like when I go to the gym now, I go, I do some work, but if I'm not leaving, crawling on the floor, then I didn't work hard enough. Now, one of my biggest real challenges of living in Germany is the weather. The weather, a lot of times, sucks. I mean, and one day it's raining, one day the sun might come out for 20 minutes, and then it's snowing tomorrow. And not to say that it's a bad thing, but for myself being a digital nomad, making money online with video creation, it's very hard sometimes to have the motivation to actually go out and film. Especially when I'm coming from Florida and it's like sunny, every single day. And one of the biggest things when I first got to Germany is I always wondered why everybody wanted to go outside so much. Why is it such a big thing for people to get out and enjoy the good weather? I definitely see why now. So I'm currently here at my first open air festival like for the year and the thing about Germany is a lot of times during the whole year it's so cold that they can't have really anything. I mean personally for me I make money online doing like promo videos and stuff but there's never a lot of shoots to do because it's always so cold outside. So this is actually the first day me getting outside do an open air event within the city and it was a pretty cool time.
So today, while I was at my first open air event, I knew that this would be a great opportunity to actually get out and film, to work on my craft and building content. And while I was there, seeing this band play these amazing songs, I knew that this would be another excellent time to capitalize on my craft. So I bring to you a band that I don't know playing a song I've never heard, but it looks really good though. Focusing on the frame of consistency, I knew that I've come into these challenges so many times. I've always wanted to make a daily vlog. I've always wanted to see where I can go, but I've never really pushed the limits. Because one of my biggest pet peeves is when I don't capitalize on automation. So for me, myself, for doing daily videos, I knew that every week I do a show of German Wednesday. Now German Wednesday is about me being American, living in Germany, and I know that is one of my biggest sources that I get from my channel. So why not capitalize on this? And I knew that I had to find a great opportunity in order to make this even better than what it already is. So I figured why not shoot an intro for German Wednesday? What else I gotta do? Roll that beautiful bean footage. That had nothing to do with Germany, but it's an original, that's my footage, that's my intro for German Wednesday. And I mean, it might not be the most German thing ever, but hey, it's me. So let's read some of these comments on my last video. Spades says, Chris is getting really good with videography. Keep it up, brother. Those castles are actually the entrance or gateway to a fortress that they built to protect the town from outsiders. You will find them all over Europe but the old town is located in those areas. Okay, very true. I know me when I first got to Germany and I started doing some research and finding out more about the castles and stuff. And a lot of these towns, these were like real places. And for me, I can't fathom how it really was like five, six, seven hundred years ago for these actually to be real forts and towns. And now they've built them into cities. Like it just, First Crom says, pilots have a before start checklist, a taxi checklist, and many more. You definitely need to work through a before start checklist to make sure you have the camera gear, the bike lock, et cetera, et cetera, before you leave the house. Bro, that's a hundred. You're so right. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a, a checklist thing up here on the board. I know I don't have anything like that because when I got out the military, I wanted to do everything anti-military. Like you can see, I started getting so many piercings in my face and I think it was just because like, I couldn't do it before. So I think I need to get back on the things that I know that I need to do and do something like that. Benjamin Frosos, I hope I said that right. I'm feeling the same. You stand in front of a castle 1500 years old and thinking, damn, imagine 400 years after Jesus. I think it's 400 years after 
Jesus or 400 years after Jesus. I don't know. But, yo, it's definitely true, man. Like I said, you know, I had a conversation before with somebody how Germany has breweries that are older than the, the, the birth of my nation. I hate to say that. Discovery of America. Because, you know, generally, like, America wasn't really founded or on the map until 1776. I never say that because America never needed to be found. But I regress. I'm just joking. It's a joke. But yeah, man, it's definitely true. Like, to me, it's so surreal. And I think a lot of people that live in countries that are like hundreds and thousands of year old, a lot of times they don't realize how much history they have because, I mean, look at the world, how it is now. Like, Western world's taking over. Hence why you're watching. Gasson Malakoff says, do you have a Xiaomi Redmi Note? Mine broke down on Saturday. Bruh, yes. I'm not gonna show you the phone, the screen, because I cracked it. I have the Spider app heavily on this phone. Now, when I shoot videos, I shoot them on my phone because it's easier. You know, I could bring a big camera out and shoot it with me all day, but I know if I'm doing daily videos that it's probably gonna break. So I know the quality is not great when I'm shooting out, but... I don't wanna use my big camera, man. Like, I don't wanna use a thousand dollar camera shooting videos every day and then something happened to it where it falls on the floor and then smashes and then I have the the spider screen on my, on my good camera. Like, I don't wanna do that, man. So uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Xiaomi Note, it's a good phone. But it's not, it's not a video phone. But that's all I got for you guys today. I definitely appreciate you watching this video. And if you're new here, you know where to go. Click that that button because I said that one last time, but it's really this one. And for the Soul Fam, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Stay.